Leonie Dawson refuses to be categorized and today I want to talk to you about the wild donkey secret to getting stuff done. Now I've been talking about this shit for years and I even created an adorable illustrated ebook uh, that you can get for free. I made it with my kid when she was a baby and she is now 10. So it's been out for fucking ever. It's adorable and you should absolutely get it. But I'm going to explain to you all about the wild donkey secret of productivity and creativity and all that good shit. So, you know, one of the most popular questions I do get asked is how the fuck do you manage to create so much stuff? So I, I've only worked, I only work about 10 hours a week and I've always, um, worked very part-time hours because I've had children and before that um, I had an office job. I worked for the Australian government before um, I had kids and so I've never had the luxury of being able to create full-time and be able to do my business full-time. Instead, I have to do it in really short, sharp bursts of time and fit it in around the rest of my life. Um, But still, you know, I've written a fuck ton of books. I think I think we're about up to like 20 books when you kind of count all the different editions I've done of stuff. Maybe it's more now. Um, But because I've done 10 years of the workbooks, plus I've done at least three other books, I think. I can't remember. Um, Anyway, it's been really fun. (laughs) Uh, and I've also created over 150 courses. Um, I've got, I like have created five courses in the last year. I've done two and a half thousand blog posts and I don't know, I just create a lot of stuff and share a lot of stuff and it's groovy. So um, yeah, I kind of know how to get shit done and I know how to do it in a way that where like I still have all of the rest of life happening as well. So the thing is, it is as simple as a donkey and I call it the riding the wild donkey technique. So if you can just imagine that a wild donkey of an idea shows up in your paddock, it's your job to jump on it and ride until it's finished, done, finished, complete. And then your job is then to just release it back into the wilds because the donkey will have done what it's needed to do and so will you. So for example with the first goals workbooks that I created uh, Christmas 2009 and um, I came up with the idea just before Christmas and within the space of a few days I'd created the whole thing, written it, finished it, painted it, illustrated it, put it online and um, started selling it and I thought it'd be super cool if I could you know sell it to like 10 people or whatever and it sold a thousand that year it's kept on growing every year since and I think about 400,000 people have used them around the world now I've just released the 2021 ones um you can go check them out at goalgetterbooks.com uh another example like with my courses I did a a course years ago called the Radiant Goddess course and it had 21 different videos and uh, it had ebooks, it had all kinds of like companion products, everything. And I filmed all of it while I was pregnant over one day. Creative Goddess saying, which Creative Goddess course, which was one of the very first courses I did, it was six weeks of materials with videos, meditations, hand illustrated and painted workbooks, and I created it over a six day period. Does it seem a bit bonkadoodles? Yes. Is it crazy effective? Yes. Because those wild donkeys get ridden and then they get released. See, the problem with the chip away technique, and I suspect 97% of the population are secretly like me, is that I'm not going to be able to be somebody who can chip away at stuff for a year or three. The whole idea just feels muted and dull to me. And the only guarantee out of that technique is that I am going to lose interest and I am going to lose momentum. And yet, if I just harness the energy of the wild donkey idea when it's in my paddock, it makes creating so much easier. 
I'm happy to have days of huge creative surges and then rest and recover afterwards. But if I wait, if I, you know, the things that happens, like when I wait for stuff, I mollycoddle it, I caress it gently, I tease out, I think about it, I want to make it perfect. That's the stuff that I haven't made yet. That's the stuff that's all still sitting in my my mountain of project unfinished, you know, and it's a mammoth pile that still teases me. Riding the world donkey might be wild, but gosh, it's also fun and exhilarating and delicious as well. And oh my gosh, it does get things done. It gets things created out in the world for them to dance their magic and do what they need to do, which is much more than can be said for all the dreams that still lay buried in Mount Project Unfinished. So the way I see it, it's my responsibility to ride the donkeys that turn up in my paddock. There's something that I need to learn from them. There's something that needs to happen there. And those wild, gorgeous donkeys need me to set them free into the world. So I can only do it, do that by putting on some big girl panties, a cowgirl cat hat and some Crocs and <laughs> just jumping on. Riding, creating, having faith, trusting, pushing, taking deep breaths, being mad and glorious and fabulous all at once. And here's the thing, like I just finished the 2021 goal workbooks and I created five products um, in the space of maybe two months. And it was a bit of a longer donkey ride for me because I had a prolapse disc in my back. So I had to limit the amount of time I spent at the desk, but I still managed to create five products in two months. It was amazing. And that included four books. Um, so it's absolutely doable. And that's why I teach 40 days to finish your book because you absolutely can make huge sways and finish your book in 40 days. It's why I do 40 days to create and sell your e-course because you absolutely can get your course written and recorded and out there in the world and starting to sell it within 40 days. It's the waiting around that really fucking sucks. Look, in case you need the reminder, the wild donkey wants you to finish it. Don't hold it up. Don't wait for the perfect creative time. Don't wait for anyone else. Don't wait for a publishing deal. Don't wait for outside of validation. Create it until it's done and then release it. Jump on the wave of inspiration and surf it out until the wave is done. You don't need to be properly prepared. You just need to do your job. And that job is to ride the wild donkey. Do it, create it, have faith in it, finish it, release it. I promise you, it is the most fun you will ever have. <laughs>